All right, starting out laying down, we can allow the whole length of the spine to just relax into the floor. Uh, if your lower back is feeling particularly tense or uh, achy today, you might just allow it to release toward the floor by bending your knees a little bit and knocking them together. And you can kind of play with where you want your feet and where you want your hips and where you want your knees. And then perhaps the chest is feeling a bit congested too because, because life. So tuck your shoulder blades under, make some W shapes out of your arms and try to line your hands uh, up with your heart so that they don't fall asleep. <laughs> And then we'll take a little while just to breathe right here. Find your big inhales that peel open your whole body. Okay, your whole body expands on the inhale. And on the exhales, the belly button pulls in strong toward the spine. Okay, wrapping the whole low back up in strong tissue helps to support the low back if we develop that musculature. So the more we can balance these muscles that wrap around the middle of the body, the more protected and functional the low back will be the happier. Happy low back, happy life. And allow these next few breaths to be even longer than all the other ones were before. More complete. Begin to focus on softening the jaw and the hands even more. Let all tension melt away here. And let's bring in some tiny movements. Okay, waking up the hips very gently by bending the knees a little bit, windshield wipers. Okay, find that you can make this really passive at first, but if you like, you can make it a little bit more active, moving the knees downward more firmly, allowing the knees to come close to the floor maybe, if that feels good, on your inner and outer hip. All right, the next time the knees come back to center, Go ahead and get the arms and legs up in the air. Arms up, legs up. Okay, fingers interlaced. We're gonna point our fingers out past the right side of the right leg and think of reaching the fingers out toward the front of the mat. So getting your core a little bit engaged here. Extend the left leg toward the front of the mat like you're pushing through the heel. Take a big breath in, hover, and exhale, bring it back in. So just kind of waking up your core, just very gently. Left leg forward, big breath in. Head and shoulders are lifted. Exhale, pull the left leg back in. Keep the head and shoulders up one more time. Big breath, left leg moves forward. Exhale, send it back. Go ahead and let it go. Take a little time here just to rock out your low back on the floor. And then legs up, arms up, fingers interlaced. We're going to point our fingers past the left side of the legs. Shoulders and head are up. Okay, right leg extends forward on the inhale. Pull it back in on the exhale. Two more times. Long neck, big breath in. Big exhale. One more, please. 
in and exhale okay pull the knees in grab them rock it around as you're ready let's keep the right leg we'll extend the left leg out fingers interlace behind the right thigh or in front of the shin your choice start to move that knee toward your chest and we'll hold here and breathe Okay, now move it towards your armpit. Okay, think of maybe wrapping one forearm around the right thigh or shin, maybe two forearms, but let's get the shoulder blades down here and really compress that knee in. Shoulder blades super grounded. Breathe. And then release that a little bit. We're gonna take this left knee, if right, left hand to the right knee, move the right knee to the left, look out to the right. Let's have some nice twisting here. Big breath in, long spine. And big exhale, pulling that right knee, maybe a little more to the left, maybe grounding that right shoulder blade even more. All right, feeling a lot of nice opening along the back of the right hip and low back. So let's bring that right leg back in, but we'll stick all the legs up in the air here and cross the right knee over the left and bend your knees. And then you have the option to single cross at the knees or double cross with the ankles. And let's take the arms out wide and start to hover the legs on one side. So remember not to let them come all the way down because we wanna keep the shoulder blades grounded and bring them back in. Exhale, hover them on the other side, look away. Inhale back to center. So we're kind of wringing out your low back here. Maybe two or three more times on either side. Keep the shoulder blades grounded no matter what. And next time they drop to one side, any side, just pick one. Let them fall right there. Okay, you can grab that knee that's close to the hand on that side where the knees are. Okay, and look away from the knees. Big breath in. Big exhale. Let's bring the hips to, or the knees to the other side. So drop them the other way. Keep them crossed just like they are, right over left still. And maybe the close hand grabs a knee. Look away at the far hand. Long spine inhale. Strong belly exhale. As you're ready, bring that back in. And we can shake this out. Go ahead and windshield wiper your legs. And let's do the other side. Okay, we'll bring this left knee in. Right leg can come out long on the mat. So opening up that hip flexor that we just kind of worked. And you might use the back of the left thigh or the front of the left shin. Ask your knee what it thinks about that. And shoulder blades ground. Pull that knee toward your heart. Okay, nothing painful, please. Remember to breathe. When in doubt, breathe. And 
And then start to move the knee towards your armpit. Maybe hug it in with your forearms. Really get it in there. Shoulder blades grounded. Okay, allowing that right hip flexor to continue to let go, even though it's just resting out there. It's still letting go. Soften up out of this. Let's take it into a twist. The right hand moves the left knee to the right. Okay, look to the left. Beginning to prepare the spine and that left outer hip for the deeper twist that we're about to move to. And then let's bring that back in. All the legs up in the air. This time the left leg over the right, please. Bend the knees once, maybe cross them twice, okay, at the ankle. So arms out, we'll start hovering side to side. Same thing as before. Think of exhaling to drop the knees, inhaling to pull them back in. But keep the shoulder blades grounded for now and keep the legs hovering rather than dropping all the way down. Close your eyes, look away from your knees as they move. Okay, we're just gently massaging your spine here. Massaging all the little muscles of your back. Giving your glutes a great massage. Okay, really nice floor massage. And next time the legs drop to any side, just let them fall. Maybe adjust your shoulder blades so that they are still down. And maybe the closed hand grabs a leg. Look away to the far hand. Keep breathing. As you're ready, switch sides. Legs go the other way. Look the other way. <laughs> nice twist here. Long spine, inhale. Strong belly, exhale. Bring this back in. Let's untangle all the parts. And windshield wiper. Hopefully your low back is feeling nice and wrung out, quite literally. Hips, inner and outer should be feeling a lot more spacious. Okay. As you're ready, tuck hands behind knees. Let's rock it up. Come on up. Let's find a comfy seat. Let's get a little bit more into upper body space. So whatever your comfy seat is, close your eyes. Find equal weight in both hips. Maybe even pull your belly button in slightly and tuck your tailbone a little bit so you're really using your center of gravity well. And then that might allow you to roll the shoulder blades a little further down and lift the heart one millimeter higher with a little tuck in your chin so the back of the neck is long. Could you let your jaw hang a little bit slack? Can you keep all this? And reach your arms out to the sides. And then activate your arms. So activate your shoulders, maybe with not 100% of your strength, but maybe five to 10. Keep your longest possible neck. So your spine is actively rising up out of your pelvis. Strengthen and lengthen through the fingertips and keep breathing. Plug the shoulders in. Lift the spine a little higher. Could you feel the low back rising up and out? Knit the bottom ribs in toward each other. With your fingertips coming from your shoulder, draw tiny, slow circles. Breathe. 
Tiny and slow. Let's make them a little bigger. 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 <laughs> Notice it's particularly challenging to move the hands back behind the line of your spine, opening up the front of your shoulders and using the back, okay? Bigger. Keep the long neck, the shoulders plugged in. Your thumbs now bump up top and your fingers now scrape the floor and then point behind you. Keep it big. Okay, reverse it, keep it big and slow, but push through the palm, push, 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 bump up top and scrape the floor. Still putting in a little extra effort to move the arms back behind the line of the spine, opening up that front side of the chest. Okay, let's make it a little smaller each time. Still as circly as you can make them. Bring them back in. Slowly. <laughs> slowly. Nice and slow. Okay, at some point, go ahead and drop your shoulders. Oh, you can rest your hands on your legs and take some nice rolling <laughs> of your shoulder. All right, friends, <laughs> let's get move a little bit more into the sides of the body. So we can walk our left fingers out here to the left a little bit. Let's make sure we ground into that right hip. You already noticed probably that it tends to want to lift and be light. So let's make it extra heavy. Right hand up, big breath in here, reaching through that right hand very high. Exhaling here, you can bend the left elbow maybe and reach to the right. Simple little side bend. Inhale, get a little longer through the right side. Reach high, press that hip down. And exhale, reach to the left. Keep breathing, okay? Just like this, inhale, lift high. Exhale, reach. So I want you to get a little bit taller on your right side here. Next time you reach, hold right here. Really ground into that right hip, okay? Is it possible you could make the space around the right side of your neck and the left side of your neck even bigger? Like you're trying to describe a huge hoop around your head and maybe the left fingertips walk out further. Ground that right hip. Nice breath into the right side. Keep lengthening, lengthening as you reach. One more big breath in here. And exhale, coming back up. Right fingertips walking to the right. Find a suitable spot, ground that left hip, inhaling, reach it up. Really long through that left side, exhale, bend the right elbow and reach. Back up on the inhale, reaching tall, extend through the left side even more. Exhale, reach it over to the right. Okay, take a couple more, you get it. Really long, just grow another inch on the left side every time. This time, hold and breathe. Okay, maybe walk the right hand out, who knows? Ground that left hip. Make a lot of space around your left ear and your right ear. One more big breath here. Let it go. Come on back up. <sighs> All right, let's extend the right leg out to the side and keep the left foot in. And we'll turn out to that right foot. So turn out in that direction. Fingers ground on either side of the right leg. And we have our longest spine ever. Okay, with our biggest, proudest heart. So if you feel like it's hard to sit up straight, if you're kind of doing like this right now, no problem. Just pick up your right knee a little bit. 
And as a matter of fact, even if you don't feel limited at all here, if you feel like you can sit up straight and extend the right knee too, still put a little bit of a micro bend. You should always be able to slide your hand under your right knee. It's not locked, in other words. So let's check this out. We're inhaling to lengthen the spine, of course, and we're exhaling to move the heart forward and just pause where you feel any kind of resistance from the back of your right leg or the back of your body. And we're inhaling to have a longer spine here. Exhaling to fold a little more if we have more space. So not rushing anything, of course. We'll take several more breaths here. I want you to think of just allowing your spine to round, but lengthening as you're allowing it to round keeping the shoulders away from the ears, the chest big and broad, and maybe making it more accessible by just bending your right knee. Maybe your elbows come down. Maybe your head hangs, but keep the neck long, please. And remember to keep a little bit of activity in your legs so they're not just sleeping here. The right foot is flexed, please. The right hip is actively uh, pulling the leg inward. Maybe one more nice breath here. And then peel your way up and out of this. Come on up. We can pick up this left knee and just point it up at the ceiling and then hold it close. You can use both your arms for a little while, just hugging that knee in towards your chest, kind of like we did when we were laying down at the beginning of this class. So longest spine, please. Just getting that knee close. And maybe after a few breaths, you notice that it is indeed softened a little bit more towards your torso and you can use just the right hand around the left, the right arm around the left leg and you can look behind you using left fingertips for a little bit of extra lift in the spine. Nice breath here, long spine inhales, belly button to spine exhales. Maybe moving a little more deeply into this twist now that we've spent a few breaths here with the right elbow outside the left knee. Remember your long spine, please. Remember your grounded left hip. Just a bigger twist. Not necessarily better. As you're ready to spiral out of this, put the left hand all the way down on the floor and press the left knee to the floor. We're coming up to a supported side plank. Come on up. Once you get up, let's reposition the left knee so it's more uh, useful and supportive under your left hip. The right uh, hip can fully extend and press the out of the the outside of the right foot into the floor. And we can reach right hand very far away. And take a little time to breathe here, just enjoying all the space we've opened up on the right side of the body. Maybe close your eyes and point your nose in whatever direction feels natural. Something you can play around here if this posture is comfortable to you is lifting that right leg, bending the knee, and you can point that toe at the back of your head. Okay, if you can keep your hips and shoulders stacked here, right over left, and there's no pain or strain in your, uh, your hips, remember to lift your belly button in towards your spine, and then you can try reaching back for your right ankle with your right hand. And they may find each other today, no problem if they don't. But remember to press the hips forward as you send the foot back. And look wherever feels natural. I 
One more breath here. Whatever you are doing, come out with control. And we'll spin it back down to a seat. Come on down. Let's switch sides. Right foot is now coming in. Left foot is going out. Turning over toward that left foot. Ready to fold. Long spine inhale. Soft bend in the left knee. Big flex in the left foot. Heart moves forward. Exhale. This is the second side, so it might be so much more open or it might be totally different. So letting go of any expectations can just make it more enjoyable. Long spine, even though it rounds, please. Long neck. Okay, the left leg is still active here. It's quite active. It's plugging into the hip socket actively right now and flexing the foot. Doing a little gentle kick down, a little kick into the floor. As you're ready, peel yourself up here. We'll pick this right knee up, point it at the ceiling. All hands will hold the right leg close, all arms. So just make it a part of your torso. Okay, lengthen your spine. Knee moves toward heart, beginning to feel like you have to maybe press down a little bit extra into that right hip to get it to stay down. It's funny how that hip predictively always wants to pop up. Okay, when you feel like the left arm can handle it, right hand behind you, fingertips add a little boost to the spine. Long spine, inhale. Belly button to spine, exhale. Breathe. Feel the expansion in your rib cage and the compression around your low back. Strong muscle wrapping around that low back. Maybe one more breath. As you are ready, come on out. Right knee moves toward the floor. Right hand is on the floor. Come up to your supported side plank. Make sure to move the right knee to a better spot, okay? Better yoga architecture. So it's underneath your right knee, underneath your right uh, hip. Right toes point back. Okay, feeling some nice expansion across that left side. Maybe reach the left hand very far away and drop into the outer edge of the left foot. You can really press into that foot and reach through the fingers and get a fine stretch. Maybe at some point exploring with lifting the left leg. You can bend the left knee, point the toe at the back of your head. Remember the belly button needs to be pulling in and the hips are always pressing forward so we don't overextend the low back, of course. And then if everything's going great, we can send the left foot back, back, back. And remember the hips and shoulders have to stack. One more big breath in here. And come out with control. <laughs> Spin it back to a seat. Okay, from here, feet together. We'll take the feet a little bit farther away from the hips than maybe we normally would in a, um, like a butterfly or baddha konasana. Taking them out away until your shape that your legs make is like a square, just turned on its side. So more of a square than a diamond. 
<laughs> and then maybe you're better off here just having your fingers on the ground and closing your eyes with your long spine, especially if you feel any kind of discomfort in your knees, okay? Don't feel like you have to keep going. But if you feel good about it, start to walk the hands forward, long spine, inhale. Heart moves forward, exhale. And keep breathing here. Maybe hands come to your ankles and you can rest your elbows gently on your knees. And maybe there is a very gentle, loving encouragement of the nose toward the toes with your hands on your ankles. Nothing crazy, don't hurt yourself. Long spine, inhale. Heart moves forward, exhale. Maybe let the head fall. Maybe three more long, slow breaths here. Last one. As you're ready, roll yourself up out of this. Okay, and then however you are on your mat, situate yourself back to where your long ways on your mats, your toes are pointing forward. And we'll just rock over onto the right hip and send the left leg back, okay? And then I'm just gonna have you uh, wiggle yourself into a pigeon. <laughs> so we're just getting into a pigeon from the floor. And I want you to stay upright in pigeon with me here for a little while. So let's just talk about it. If it's painful, first of all, pull your right foot in closer to your hip. You can just sit on your hip if you want to. And you can also just come down to your elbows if it doesn't feel good in your low back. But try to stay up with me a little bit. If it's really bad, you don't want to be in pigeon, and that's true for, for a lot of people. So don't worry. You can get on your back and do a figure four instead. You'll put your right ankle on your left knee, and you'll use your left knee like the floor to move your foot towards your nose okay, without touching your right leg. So in pigeon, I just want to bring your attention to a few alignment cues. Check out your hips and make sure they're level with the mat. You may notice often that the left hip will have a tendency to externally rotate here. And you'll know that because your left toes will be pointed to the left. That's a nice other thing, but turn in on that left hip so that the toes point down. And if it helps, you can tuck the toes to remind yourself not to externally rotate here. Also, move the right foot away from you if you want more opening in that right hip, outer hip. So find a spot where you can be upright for at least a few more breaths. Long spine inhales, okay? Heart moves forward, exhales, same idea. So maybe allowing yourself to come lower and lower on your elbows if you're not already. Finding that there's a little activity in the legs, a little gentle press down on the floor. Nothing crazy. Maybe the head hangs with a long neck. And finally, allowing yourself to melt all the way down to the floor, reaching your arms out long. Your forehead might just come all the way down. Okay, I just want to remind you not to totally flop here. Keep a little gentle activity in your legs. For example, your right foot, try flexing it a little bit. So a little dorsiflex, toes moving toward the right shin. And try using both your legs to gently resist the ground. Maybe just a tiny fraction of your strength, just a little resistance. Another thing you might want to play with, 
is walking your hands out to the right and getting a side stretch along the left side. One more nice breath here, pigeon. And then we'll walk back into center, come back up on elbows. And walking your hands back in, we can rock over on the, the right hip. However, if you're down in a figure four, we're just gonna go to the other side. So if you're on your back, switch sides with your figure four, okay? And we're just gonna switch sides. <laughs> so with both your legs out in front of you, pigeons, maybe shake it out a little bit. As you're ready, we'll take the, we'll rock to the left, take the right leg out behind. Okay, make sure it's not externally rotated, but that you adjust it, maybe pulling the left heel close to your pelvis by internally rotating that right hip. That's a pigeon, that's what we want. So maybe tuck the toes, maybe come to your elbows as you allow this, to kind of calibrate. So we're quite, we're quite warm from our practice. So we should be feeling nice and spacious in this lovely posture. If you're in a figure four, continue to um, move your right knee towards you as your left knee attempts to press away like you're, like you're trying to press it into the floor. Make sure your hips are level in your pigeon please make sure there's a little activity of the legs pressing against the floor and maybe you move the left knee further away or closer but start to sink down into this the forehead getting lower and lower little activity in the legs Maybe building in that little side bend here, walking your hands to the left. One more big breath here. And then let's walk it back in, pigeons. Figure four is go ahead and stay on your back. We are going to meet you there. So pigeons, walk, rock onto your left hip, please. Swing the legs around front. And then with your hands tucked behind your knees, you can rock yourself all the way down. Come on down. Allow the feet to ground. Allow your hands to just fall down by your hips. Just kind of wiggle here, allowing the back body to begin to relax back into the floor. And we'll just take a nice twist here to seal the practice off. Go ahead and move your hips to the left. Drop your knees to the right. We'll look over to the left and breathe deeply here. Shoulder blades down. Strong belly exhales. Now I wanna offer you a little variation here. You can play around with extending your knees partially or fully. So try maybe extending your knees a little bit out to the right. And then maybe walking your right hand down towards your left calf. Try that out for a few breaths. If everything goes great, maybe extend a little more, walk the hands down to the ankles. And if you're still feeling great, you can grab your feet, really ground those shoulder blades, and look to the left.
As you're ready, if you lengthened and extended your knees, bend them back in. We'll bring them through center. First, let's move our hips to the right and then drop the knees to the left. Starting out with a little gentle bent knee twist, let's just look to the right. Remember to ground your shoulder blades, long spine inhale. Strong belly exhale. If you want to experiment here, start by gently extending the knees a little bit. You can walk your hands to calf. Take a couple breaths. You have time. And begin to gently walk it out a little further. But remember the priority here is not the depth of the twist or the extension in the knees, it's the breath and that long spine. As you're ready, uncurl yourself from this twist back to center. And here we are at our resting posture. We made it, come on down and just breathe. Find your breath. Soft through the nose. Find the face soft and open. And allow yourself to get lost in the sensations of this exact moment, your breath, every sound you hear, everything you feel. Please keep resting this way as long as you can. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you feel wonderful.